Well, how's it going? Sitting on the bank, uh, you know, filming a little bit of our 12 months of carp. Uh, just some filler segments we need to, to put together January. Still trying to get Goldius fish. Um, but one of the things we wanted to, to talk about, it, it seems to be kind of a, a going trend. And it, it, it relates to a lot of questions we get asked, uh, you know, through the Facebook page, um, some of the messages through YouTube and such. Uh, what equipment do we use filming the videos? Um, it it kind of goes back a lot further than, than one would think. Um, even though we started the official videos on YouTube back in uh, 2014, I was actually doing this more than 20 years ago. Um, way back in my high school days. That was back in the days of the big shoulder mounted cameras that you could put a VHS tape in. And we, you know, as high school students, a bunch of friends and I would go down and we would film ourselves fishing for carp, um, you know, fishing for trout down in the whirlpool. And, and it was it was really interesting to be carrying this great big heavy case and shoulder mounted camera. We felt so professional and so awesome. Like we we're gonna make fishing shows. You know, that's what we're gonna do. And after high school, you know, I, I wanted to keep it going. I wanted to get a little bit more interesting with it. And, you know, this is the days of the, the full wall of, you know, studio equipment to edit the, the footage that I can now do with my cell phone. Um, so after high school, uh, you know, still quite a ways back, we're talking uh, mid 90s now, um, I upgraded to an eight millimeter camera recorder. So, you know, tiny little thing, it's a, it was a Sony. I still have it somewhere but I don't even know if I could get it to turn on now. Uh, but that, that was great. It allowed me to get into a lot more um, you know, tight spots, a little bit more interesting, a lot, of, a lot of really hard to access areas in the gorge. And we were able to film some really cool bass fishing and, and some trout fishing there as well. So it, it really goes back a long time uh, that I've been doing this. But uh, yeah, after, after kind of the late 90s, I, I just got away from it. I uh, didn't really think that there was a, a place to put the footage. Um, you know, this is really kind of early into the whole internet thing. So, you know, 2010, 2011, I started to see uh, a lot of... I, I was learning a lot more about videos on YouTube and, and seeing how they were put together. and. Uh, just really fascinated that's when I kind of discovered the whole European carp scene and and it just blew my mind about what fishing really could be and and the way they filmed it was so different from what I've seen in North America on our, our popular television programs um, it just opened my eyes to this whole new world and in 2012 I got my hands on a little flip minnow camera this is one that I borrowed from a friend, and it turns out I never actually gave it back. I probably should at some point. Um, but this is actually what I started with. And it was when we were kind of testing things out. I had this, this little tiny camera that only takes an hour of footage mounted up on my big tripod that uh, I, didn't even, I, didn't, yeah, I didn't even buy that from a store. I think I paid 20 cents for, for it from a scrapyard because uh, it just happened to be complete. And uh, I would take this out and I would film my uncle and I fishing for carp and catfish and that was fun. It was just testing out to see what we could do, if we could still do what we did way back when. And that turned into be more silliness, you know, just blooper material really. But it got the bug going again and it made me really want to focus on putting more effort into filming my fishing. And after that, I was lucky enough that my father-in-law upgraded his camcorder, you know, filming the family and such. So he gave me his old one. So when he upgraded to this big fancy one, much like what Goldie uses now, uh, I got the little Canon FS200. You know, a little flip-out camcorder, uh, not even HD. So, uh, you know, a good, I don't know, 40 or 50 of our videos have actually been filmed with this uh, and the help of that flip camera and this has been a really good loyal camera I, there was only one session that this really messed up on me it still took the photos didn't get the video but i've really liked this camera i like using it it's very simple 
but the quality wasn't there. And uh, we were getting, probably through most of 2016, we were getting a lot of messages about, can you please start filming in HD? Um, do you have the ability to film in HD? Uh, you know, what cameras do you use? You really should be filming in HD. And, you know, uh, budget-wise, I didn't really have the means, but uh, luckily I did have a good friend, Goldie, who does a lot of film work uh, with different friends and, and projects that he works on. Um, in, I think it was September of 2015, we filmed our first segment together, uh, Fishing Carp on the Welland River, and I was blown away. We actually used all of the cameras in that session trying to find what looked the best and how we could piece it together. I think we had six cameras going that day. Uh, it turned out to be an amazing session. I think we had nine fish in a span of five hours. And piecing it all together, it was very apparent that the equipment that I had been using wasn't quite where we needed it. Um, it, it was really way, way down on the list compared to the footage that we were getting with the other cameras. So we, we tried filming a few other things here and there, but that stayed my primary one until more recently, uh, throughout 2016, when Goldie really started to come along with us and, and film most of the sessions. Uh, a lot of the carp club events, really just making sure that we could keep that quality up. Uh, so we, we were seeing more improvement and the view count improved as well. Uh, subscription levels went up, so there was a very clear correlation between, you know, doing what everybody wants and getting that quality up there uh, and the, the, the numbers increasing and, you know, thank you for that. So I don't really know as much about the newer equipment um, as I do about the older stuff, but uh, I'll, I'll let Goldie explain more about those those pieces of equipment, the, the cameras that we've now started using and, and now acquired. Um, another one of the most common questions I get asked is what, what software do you use? Well, for editing, when I was using these older cameras, I was actually using iMovie 8. iMovie 7 or iMovie 8. Um, I, I know I upgraded somewhere in between there. I have a very old Mac mini computer. Uh, very old software on it and you know it did the job I actually really liked it it's very user-friendly you know I, I was very familiar with it having uh, worked with the program quite a bit beforehand uh, you know when we before we really got into this and it, it just seemed like a natural transition use what I was familiar with uh, it worked well with these cameras and it did some very nice nice stuff I, it really helped me learn more about the editing process and how to piece things together, how to blend music with it. But yeah, once we started switching over to Goldie's cameras, my software just couldn't cut it. Um, we would put footage in that was, uh, you know, 1080, and it just, it couldn't handle it. And my computer would actually shut down. Uh, there was a number of times where I'd be in two hours into an edit with footage from my camera, footage from Goldie's camera, and the computer just went and I would lose two hours of work. It happens, but that's part of the learning process. So to describe more about the the newer equipment that we're using, some of the action cameras and our, and our main camera as well, uh, I'm actually going to let Goldie describe that to you because he has the knowledge for that. And he'll also talk to you about the new software we're using. And while he's doing that, I'm going to keep focusing on the fishing because we've been here for hours, haven't had a bite yet. we got to do something. So I'm going to turn this over to Goldie and uh, he'll have a little bit more to tell you. So, out with the old and with the new. Right now we're shooting with a Nikon D7000. We'll show you a little bit uh, in a second. Um, we also started going with action cams. Uh, right here I have my Hero 3. It's an older generation, but it gets the job done. It's amazing underwater shots. A little bit poor on the sound quality when it's in its shatterproof case but when you're underwater you're not hearing much anyway next we just got this for Christmas another action cam this one isn't as expensive as 
this guy is. This one was just a little bit over $600. This one was $80. Um, the cool thing about this is it's $80. Also has a LED screen on the back so that we can actually see what's going on. Fortunately, back old days, the heroes didn't come with the screen on them. They had to buy that separately. So we can see what we're doing with this. Does all the usual stuff that this guy does just with half the price. We haven't found many problems with this. It doesn't really like the cold a lot, but you just put it in your pocket, let it warm up a little bit. Works beautifully. Sounds a little bit wonky on it, but for the price, amazing. We're gonna probably get two or three more of these, start using them, put them on the different items as we're walking through to get to the different spots that we're fishing at, just so we can get more more clever looking shots okay so got all the accessories little monopod sticks and oh, all kinds of neat stuff we got the harness for your body we got the hat stuff um, if you've, you've already used the the body one um, we'll put some footage right about here of that with uh, John walking through the whirlpool uh, we just picked this little guy up here a little X-Grip, we haven't even used it yet. But camera goes here, microphone will go up here. So it looks something like that. Get some amazing footage with this. Okay. So for our workhorse, every pretty much all their good footage is coming on our D7000 Nikon camera. Had it almost five years now. It's almost time to upgrade, but it still does the job really great. Um, it's been through pretty much everything. It's been through Niagara Falls. It's had a couple drops in its life. It's it's an amazing camera. Love Nikon. Sorry for all you Canon people or Sony people. It's what I, I what I use. So I have two different lenses. Uh, the lens that's on there right now is a the 18 to 105. That's where we get all our main shots, all our wide shots, all our just sitting around doing nothing. Uh, for all my artsy shots, I have this 55 to 200. Great, great depth of field on it. Get all the nice blurriness and focus in and out and stuff like that. These lenses are old. The lens actually that's on the camera right now has a scratch on it. So every once in a while you'll see footage and right about here on people, there's a little white speck. A scratch on the lens, needs to replace that, but need money for that. It still works. Still works great. It still works. You can give me money, I'll take it. <laughs> I'm not giving you money. You don't get paid. Yeah, yeah don't tell me about it. <laughs> you get paid in fish. <laughs> So, uh, there's also a filter now that I put on this lens so that it protects it so that it doesn't get scratched again. Um, even that's in a little bit of rough shape right now. It's, it needs to be replaced. Um, for sound, uh, we have a Rode mic mounted to the hotspot on the, the camera there. Unfortunately, I need to get a cat for it, which is one of those big, fluffy, hairy things. It looks like an Ewok or a, a dead cat. A dead cat. But, that's down the line. It helps with wind resist or wind noise and stuff like that. So we'll fix that. But road camera, road microphone work great. Of course, you probably hear all the traffic right behind me here. Tripod, it's nothing. Uh, I got it from a friend after he drove his droid into my actual old tripod. Uh, $100 tripod, nothing special. Doesn't do anything great. It's got three legs. Put it up and down, nothing great. Also have another tripod just back there, a little black one. Same thing, it's even cheaper than this one here. When you're on a budget, you, you use what you got. Um, like John said, he also has another one. He got paid the whole 20 cents for it. So we don't use a lot of really expensive equipment yet. Um, in the future, like I said, we're gonna get more of these. Oh, my Lord. I don't even, uh, Odrum, I think. Uh, it's not even in focus there, but uh, it's it's another action cam. Uh, yeah, I'll get the name of it right yeah. one of these times. It's an SJ7000. 
Um, like I said, it's really cheap. Really, we we're hoping to get maybe two or three more of these so we can do a lot more artsy glamour shots. Main camera, I'm hoping to upgrade it one of these days to a new Nikon. From, for the future, we're gonna have more of these SJ cams. Um, our big purchase coming up, hopefully June, July, once we can really get going, uh, is a new drone. Uh, I'm watching all the, what? Yes, drone, oh yes. Watching all the, the European carpers and their drones and they, they zoom up and they are over these big giant ponds and they come back down and this guy's got a fish and that is our goal is this year is to get one of those so we can get some of these amazing glamour shots. Um, also, like I said, I'm hoping to get a new body for a Nikon so we can have two nice big SLRs running, get amazing footage. Probably two years from now, I uh, will hopefully get into the 4K stuff, but that that's way down in the future. But 4K is in the in the works. Uh, what else we got going? Um, lighting. We're gonna lighting, get yes. get some more much better lighting for night footage. We'll put some night footage of the old yeah the old the old uh, can in there where it's all yeah where we flash lighting it and it's all blurry and stuff. Hopefully, we'll be getting into some beautiful LED lights. Uh, 32 lights and they'll all be mounted. Should be amazing night footage because we're gonna do a lot of overnights this year. So yeah, we're gonna get more microphones. Um, we're also looking for clip-on microphones so when it's really, really windy out, uh, you'll be able to hear everything we're saying or if we're our backs to turn to the mic, or to the, yeah, to the main microphone or the camera. Lapel yeah. mics. We do have one lapel mic on the way. Okay, there you go. So our sound is gonna start getting better. Um, we'll have less noise around us when we're in more urban situations. Um, when our backs turn, we're sitting there playing a fish or something like you'll hear everything that we're saying. Uh, we're really excited about that as well. Are you coming back to say something else? No. <laughs> I'm just pacing because I'm waiting for a fish. With the upgraded footage, um, we have to, again, upgrade our software. So. I could use iMovie. Um, I do have iMovie 10 point whatever they're on now, um, but I prefer Premiere Pro CC 2015-3 uh, to do all my editing. Uh, I find it a lot more powerful than iMovie is. Um, and the really great feature is that with the Adobe products, you go through all the stuff. Um, you got Premiere, you have Photoshop, you have Bridge. Um, and the great thing is when, if the audio is terrible in something, um, I can try and fix it by using this guy here, Adobe Auditions. Um, and it allows me to remove things, um, someone says a bad word, um, sounds that are really high pitched, like uh, banging your camera or something like that. So this is, together they far away um, iMovie, so that's why I use this program. Um, it also handles the HD, as you can see, really, really well. Um, unlike poor John's old computer that would have a, a really hard time with all this. Um, I'm also using a MacBook Pro um, with Sierra on it. Um, this MacBook, like my camera, is going on probably about six years now, but it still works like a, came, just came out of the box. So Mac's awesome, just like Nikon. Um, so, with that, um, I'd like to thank you for watching the video. Hey, for more videos like you just saw, just click on the links right over here. And to subscribe to our channel and keep up with the latest updates and newest videos, just click the logo on the screen. Um, the sound, uh, we have a Rode mic mounted to the hotspot and the, the camera there. Unfortunately, I need to get a cash for it.